This is the third and final video where we'll complete this patch together. In this video, we'll build the lead. We're using some of the modules that we set up last time, so check out those videos if you're interested. You can find links to those previous videos in the description, as well as a link to the complete patch, which you can download for totally free. The lead synth is MIDI playable, so if you have a MIDI device, I'll show you how to set that up, but we're going to be configuring it to play with the QWERTY keyboard. The lead is made of two blended voices that are an octave apart. The waves are mixed and then sent through a low-pass filter that is modulated by the note initiation gate. It fans it open, which sounds like this. Here are the modules we'll use. We have the stock MIDI to control voltage module, which connects our MIDI device or QWERTY keyboard, and the stock scope, which we'll use to visualize the sound. Then we have two ADSRs, the LVCF filter, the VCAMP voltage controlled amplifier, two LVCO oscillators, and a crossfader, all by Bogue Audio. We're busting out all the skinny modules in this one. Let's start with the MIDI setup. These little screens are clickable, and the first one determines your driver. If you're using a MIDI instrument like a piano keyboard, this will likely be connected to the correct driver right away. In my case, that would be ALSA, because I'm running Linux, but yours might say Windows MIDI, or whatever the equivalent is for Mac. I'm going to switch this to computer keyboard slash mouse by clicking it and navigating to it in the popout. This should automatically change the second window to QWERTY keyboard, and we're all set. If you're running a MIDI instrument, you'll want to open up the second window by clicking it and finding your device. Once you select it, you're ready to run. Now let's set up the audio cabling. I would like to encourage you to be experimental in your waveform choice. I chose a square wave with a short pulse width and a triangle wave, but choose any that you like. You can change them by clicking this little button here. We'll bring the audio outputs from both of these oscillators and connect them to the A and B inputs on the crossfader. It doesn't matter which inputs you use because the crossfader is blending our waves. I chose A for the square and B for the triangle. Just like in our previous videos, we'll turn the shape knob all the way right. This makes it so both waves are at max volume when the mix knob is in the middle. Now our mix output goes to the input of the voltage controlled amplifier. Then it goes to the filter input. The output from the filter goes to either input of the scope. And the scope output goes to the fourth channel of our mixer. Make sure you turn your mixer down somehow. Many oscillators are what we call free running, so the sound is always on. If you plug this sucker right into your mixer, it's going to be super loud, so definitely turn it down to protect your ears. That's all the audio cabling. You're doing a great job so far. Good job. Our pitches are going to be controlled by our keyboard or MIDI instrument. So we'll take the volt per octave output from our MIDI to control voltage module and plug that sucker right into the volt per octave input on the oscillators. If you hold control, you can duplicate a cable quickly like this. Now pressing a key on our keyboard or MIDI device will change the pitch. Let's grab the gate output and feed it to the gate inputs on both the envelope generators like this. One of these envelope generators will control the amplitude of our mixed voices, and the other will modulate the cutoff of our filter. So we'll plug them into the associated control voltage ports like this. Now we have something that makes some noise when we press the keys. Time to spin some knobs. The ADSR that controls the filter cutoff will determine how open the filter is based on the gate signal. Short attacks make the cutoff fly open quickly, and the sustain will determine the resting point when you hold a note down. This works in tandem with the control voltage knob on the filter, which is in low pass mode by default. So you pretty much have your start point, end point, and how quickly it goes between them. It creates a lovely growl or wah sound like this. Here are the values that I chose for the filter and its associated ADSR, but I highly encourage you to experiment and find a sound that you like. Similarly to the filter, our gate's going to open up the VCA so that our sound comes through when we press a key. I went with a short attack, moderate decay, and high sustain. This gives us a subtle swell when we press a key, and then a subtle volume decrease when we hold a note. I also went with a moderate release, so when we let go of a note, there'll be a volume tail. This will give our melodic line some continuity. If the release is short, it'll snip off the notes when we let go of the key, which could give us a really nice staccato effect if we like that sort of thing. Now for the oscillators. Again, I chose a square wave with a short pulse and a triangle wave. You can switch them by pressing this little button here. Also, I dropped the triangle wave one octave down, which is about 130 hertz. 
When you blend two voices one octave apart, it makes the combined voice more powerful and round. It also gives it a stronger presence in the mix. I'm going to pull the volume back on the VCA, maybe negative 60 dB. Now let's mix it to taste. Depending on the waves you chose, it'll appear louder or more piercing in the mix, so adjust it accordingly. I brought mine down a lot, negative 12 dB in my case. I brought the lows down a hair, and I pumped the mids and highs a tad. I also added a smidge of reverb by turning this knob, which is associated with the send effect we set up in the first video. Right now our synth can only play one note at a time, and that can be cool because when you press another note while holding a note, it switches between the notes very quickly, like this. But let's say you want a MIDI synth that is polyphonic. We just go to the MIDI to CV module and right click on it. In the context menu we see polyphony channels. Just increase that number to whatever polyphony you want. All the cables will turn fat and the little lights will turn blue and then you know you're polyphonic. This patch is in D minor, so soloing in the key of D minor will take you a long way. In fact, many notes on the keyboard will work for soloing if you're not afraid. I'm a firm believer in the no wrong notes mentality. That concludes this set of videos. We've now successfully made a killer patch that has so many useful techniques that can be adapted for future patches. If you like this kind of stuff, you could let me know that by liking, subscribing, and leaving a comment. All of the content that I make, including my sample packs and the VCV Rack Cheat Sheet, are free, forever, for everyone. And you can find them on my Ko-fi page. Gary is the newest Ko-fi supporter added to the list. Thank you so much, Gary, you rock. Demid also showed support. Thanks so much, dude. You're the man. Shout out to my other supporters as well. Your names will always be on my webpage and on the dedication page of the VCVRAC cheat sheet. Hope you all have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.